Well, I've returned to a spot I was looking for arrowheads at about a week ago, and uh, this is where I like to look for um, evidence that people were living here, working here um, 160 years ago, 170 years ago, and I got my first find. Really, it was a hard reading to come up with, but I know what to look for now. And I think what I've got here is a nice little cuff button. Looks like it's got the shank on there. Maybe the shank's broke. Yeah, shank's broke off. But, uh, hey, that's a great first find. Tiny, tiny little button. So, uh, I'll keep my ears tuned in and, uh, see if we can fish out a few more here. Maybe a coin or two. That would be awesome. So, I've been coming here for a couple years looking on this field and, uh, starting off good. So, I'll be back. Okay, next find, not far from that uh, little cuff button, is this square nail here. That's a very good sign that I'm in the right spot. And uh, now I know the number of these are coming in at. I'll kind of keep my eye open for them. This wasn't really deep, it was kind of in the top of the plug. So, square nail, old iron piece. Uh, glad I didn't discriminate it out. And uh, I'm going to slow right down here because I think we're in them. I'll be back. Well, this one made me work for it. I had to search around pretty good, and then I found this giant staple, I guess. Maybe that was for part of a hinge of a door or something, who knows, but uh, that's find number three, and uh, definitely from the 1850s, uh, so that's pretty darn cool. Clean that up when I get home. Okay, I got a little higher reading here, and it's pretty close to surface because the pinpointer's getting that. Gave me a good number, and uh, what I'm going to do is see if we can unearth this here. Hopefully it's something cool. It's hard to say. Let's see what we got. Oh, I see it already. Well, I don't know what it is, but I do know that it's a nice piece of metal. <laughs> Fool the detector. But it gave me a high number and it would be in a target that um, has this shape and uh, that close to the surface. So here, I was hoping it was a coin, but uh, we'll be back. There's a lot more things to find here. So typical of what we find when we're out in fields. A lot of people don't see this, that we find a lot of junk before we find the good stuff. So that's it for this one. I'll be back. Well, it's been a little while, not that long, but maybe 15 minutes since I found uh, the last good find. But I got something here in the hole that's very interesting. You see that silvery look? It gave a good number. I'm going to think that it's probably a button with a silver wash on it. Or we might have a piece of silver here. Which, you know what? We do have a piece of silver. And I think it was holed right there. Let me clean this off, get a better look at it, and I'll get back. Well, this is definitely a surprise. This is uh, something I wasn't expecting to find here. This is Spanish silver. Now, I, it's pretty war, so whoever had this, they carried it a long time. It was in circulation for a while, but wow, check that out. I mean, I never, I wanted to find a piece of silver here, uh, but I'm sure this is 1700s here. So holy cow, I better pay close attention because that's the last thing I thought I'd find here. But Spanish silver, all right, made my day, made my year. I'll be back, hopefully with more. Well, I'm back in a good spot again. You can see there's some uh, broken ceramic here. And up here is a little glass button. Just love to find these historic artifacts. Well, where this stuff is, there's coins also, so I'll be really watching. Be back if I find one. Okay, uh, just got a really good reading uh, up in the high 80s, 90. This is the kind of signal I'm looking for. And I'm looking for a large scent, so I'm in a good spot. So let's dig this one and see what we got here. Sounds like it's pretty close. Oh, I think I see it. Look at this. There it is. That's what I was here for today. 
So find me a large set. Well, you know, that signal never lies. Just so thrilled to get that. I mean, the Spanish silver was so unexpected. I'm still trying to process that one in my head, but this is what I wanted to find. This makes it, I think, number seven or eight that I've got off this um, spot here. So I'll see if I can clean this up and get a date, and uh, I'll get back if I do. Yeah, this one cleaned up really good. This is um, 1846, one of the older ones that I found here. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you, it's in great shape. I'll clean that up even more uh, once it dries out a little bit. But I'm not going to do much more with it. I, I'm just so thrilled to get one. And uh, this makes it official. This has been a good hunt. Not that it wasn't before. It's just even better now. So I'm going to stick around in this spot because uh, I had a hunch about this spot, and it seems to be paying off. Oh, this was a tough one to find right here. I had to dig around. I filled the hole back in. Still kept getting the signal. But that's a little four-hole dished-in button. Perfect shape. That's a pretty cool little find. Glad to see the detectors picking these things up. Because uh, this is my first time in this field with this detector. It's a really good detector. I've had no trouble with it. And uh, highly recommend it for those deep targets. So... We're still going here, and we're going to go a little longer. It's starting to actually get hot here. Might have to strip down and get this sweatshirt off. So I'll be back if I find anything cool. Well, here's a quick wrap-up of uh, some of the things I found. This is mostly iron, and, and uh, there's some lead in here also. And a um, few, few pieces of you know ceramics, plates, things like that. This is a piece of crockery. But the good stuff's right here. You know, uh, the nice, real pretty piece of uh, ceramic there. But uh, the coin, a large set, the Spanish silver, three of those glass buttons, and a couple buttons. We got a lot of wind today here, so I'm trying to keep everything in place while I video this. So, anyway, that was a great hunt, and I'm looking forward to going back. I talked to the landowner on the way out. And uh, he was interested to see what I'd found. And so it was a good day. Good day to be out social distancing, uh, you know, doing what I enjoy. So thanks for watching, and I'll try to be back with my next adventure.